Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can upload your HTML website on internet for free using Google Firebase. So you can see this is my HTML website and I will upload this website on internet using Google Firebase for free. And I'm going to show you everything step by step from the very beginning. So first of all, just go to your Google and search for Firebase and on you search for Firebase. Uh, go to this link over here, firebase.google.com. So I'll click on this link and then it will take me to this page. So here uh, you can see I will give this link in the description so that you can just directly come over here. And after coming to this website, you will see bunch of option at the top. So here you get the pricing option. So we just directly click on this pricing. And once you click on the pricing, you will see an option like this, products, no cost, spark plan, and this is free. And here you can see also pay as you go option. So if you go down, you will see the same option over here below. Both of them are basically the same. So what we are going to do is that we are going to choose this plan, no cost. So we click over here and start now. And it will take us to another desk, which will look like this. And here you can see create a project button. So we we'll click on it. And here we need to write a website name. You can name it anything. So let's say here, my first online website. You can name it anything basically. So here it will give you a unique name. You can modify it if you want, but uh, we'll keep it the way it is. And here you can see, we need to check those two options and then click on this continue button after that we will again click on continue then here you need to choose your country since i am from bangladesh so i'll choose bangladesh from here and then i accept the google analytic terms and then create project button so right now it will start creating your project and it will take around 30 seconds to create your project so right now i'll just fast forward the video so there you can see project creation is complete. So right now we'll click on this continue button. And after that, it will take you to the Firebase dashboard. So here, what you need to do is here you can see that build option. So we'll click on build and then you will see the hosting option. So we'll click on hosting. And on save, click on hosting, you will see this button called get started. So we'll click on this button, hosting uh, get started. And on save, click on it, you will see a command like this, npm install minus g firebase tool. So we need to copy this command. So I'll copy this command. And after copying this command, what you need to do is that you need to go to your website location. So here, uh, let me just go to my folder. So here you can see this is my HTML website Then I just showed you over here. You can see the sun image, art image, moon image and the space image which I just have over here. Here you can see style, script and the index.html. Make sure you have your main page as index.html. So what you need to do is that you need to go to your website inside the website and here we'll write over here cmd and press enter. So there you can see currently I am in my website location. So let me just zoom in and here we will paste uh, this command. We will paste this command over here. So we will paste it and then press enter. So it will install required file or packages in order to upload our project to the Google Firebase. So it may take uh, one or two minutes. So I will just fast forward the video. And there you can see that the package installation is done. So right now what we'll do is that we'll just click on this next button. And after that, it will ask you to sign in Google. So here you can see uh, Firebase login. Once you run this command, it will ask you to log into the Firebase. So uh, let me just copy this command, Firebase login. Let's go back to our command prompt, paste it here and then press enter. And there you can see, uh, it is asking us a question that allow Firebase to collect CLI. So we we'll say here, yes. So we we'll press Y and then press enter. And then it will automatically take us to this page. We'll choose uh, this Gmail, iStudyFS at the of gmail.com. So right now, we'll choose this Gmail. We'll click on it. And once you click on it, 
you will see something like this. So we we'll just click continue. And after that, click allow here. And here you can see Firebase CLI login successful. So if we go back to our command prompt, here you can see success logged in as iStudyAPS at the end of gmail.com. So after this, we have one more command, which is fire, Firebase init. So we'll copy, then we'll paste it here in the command prompt and press enter. And then it will ask us, are you ready to proceed? We'll say why, it means yes, and press enter. And here we are going to choose this option. We need to choose the option from here. So we'll choose this on posting, uh, configure file for Firebase hosting and optionally set up Google account uh, actual deploy. So in order to select it, uh, we need to use our arrow sign like this, and then we need to press the space button. If we click on the space button, here you can see it got selected. So right now we can just press enter and it will ask us a question that please select an option. So we are to use an existing project, which is uh, this one. So we'll just use an existing project. So we'll just press enter here and it will ask us select a default Firebase project for the directory. So our project name was my first online website. So it is already selected. So we just need to press enter. And here it will ask you what do you want to use as your public directory. So we will uh, use a public folder. So what we we'll do is that we'll just go back to our uh, project location, website location. And here we are going to create a folder and we are going to name it public. And after that, I am just going to copy the everything from here. Copy everything from here. Let me just show you copy or control C and we'll paste it inside the public folder like this. And here you can see Firebase debug. This was created by Firebase. So after this, uh, we already created a public folder over here and paste all, everything inside that public folder. So we'll just say over here, public and press enter. And it will ask us con configure a single Page app, we'll say here no. We'll just say here in and press enter. And set up automatic bins and deploy with GitHub. You can say yes or no, but I will just go with no and press enter. Public slash index.html already exists. Override, you may not see this option, but we'll give in and press enter. We'll say no and press enter basically. And there you go. Firebase initialization is complete. It means here you can see we have few files over here, which is added by Firebase so that we can see our website online. But before that, we need to run one more command. So here you can see the next button. We click on next and this is the last command, Firebase deploy. So again, let's copy this command, Firebase deploy. Let's go to command prompt, paste it here and then press enter. So this will deploy our website to the internet. And there you can see deploy complete. So right now you can see the hosting URL. So if we just copy this from here, control C, and if we just paste it in the browser and press enter, there you can see we are able to see our website, which is online. So if you share this link with your friend, they will also be able to see your HTML website. Okay, and uh, let's just show you uh, one more thing that is here you can see continue to console option. So we we'll click on this as well. And also you click on it. You will also see your domain name over here. And if you click here, uh, you can see it is already uh, selected a hosting option in the dashboard. So here you can see the domain name. So if you click here, it will again also take you to your website that you just uploaded. So we're able to upload our HTML website on internet for free using Google Firebase. I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any question or any suggestion what kind of tutorial I should make, just let me know in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.